Do you like Halloween? I sure do. Do you like Halloween unicornos? I do too, yay! Then if that's the case, you are in the right place because I am going to show you a bunch of different Halloween themed unicornos. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Leilani Lamore, and if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're new to my channel, on this channel, I like to unbox Tokidoki blind boxes and Tokidoki online exclusives. And I also like to share different parts of my collection. So hello and welcome. And yeah, so on the screen here, I've got a few unicornos displayed. I have starting from here, we've got Trixie from Unicorno After Dark Series 1. And next to her, we have Vicky from After Dark Series 2. We have Luna, and we also have Vicky and Agnes. And on either side from last year, After Dark Series 2, we have Nilo. And do you remember how cool Nilo is? Nilo, you can open up, and we've got a kawaii little mummy inside. And I'm super stoked that I have two because I really like the bookend effect that they have. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, when you have two, when you have dupes, they add balance and symmetry to your display. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, the original Tokidoki Halloween collection featured, I think it was seven different unicornos, and earlier this year I was able to pick up a few of them. So continuing with our mummy theme, this is Neferina, and she is a mummy all wrapped up in her bandages, and she has a snake tiara, and a golden horn and hooves, and some hieroglyphics, Tokidoki hieroglyphics. And next we have Patches. And Patches is obviously inspired by Frankenstein's monster. So a lot of people incorrectly refer to the monster or the creature as Frankenstein, but it's actually the doctor, the creator, who's named Frankenstein. Do you know the name of the creature? Well, since Dr. Frankenstein was well known for having a god complex, he thought it would be clever to name his creation Adam. But this is, this is called Patches, based on the little patches on his outfit. But he's got the bolts on either side of his neck, and he's got a bolt of electricity shooting down the side of his head. I love it. And last but not least, from this little collection, original Halloween unicornos, we have La Katrina. Isn't she beautiful? La Katrina is obviously based on Dia de los Muertos from Mexico. And La Katrina is usually depicted as a skeletal figure female and she's usually wearing a big fancy hat and she reminds us that one day we are all going to be skeletons so enjoy life and be a good person right that's how I interpret it but look at how awesome she is she's so pretty and as I promised in my last video I'm going to be unboxing this wondrous thing. Unicorno After Dark Series 3. This is the top of the box. Here's the side. Here's the back. I really love this version of Donatella. I would love it so much if they would come out maybe next year with a collection that featured Trixie and Donatella. 
So Donatella writing Trixie, this version. Please make it. <laughs> so this is the back of the box. And I think this is one of the original Halloween themed unicornos. This one is called Milo. And again, I really love how the colors are not in abundance of black and orange. We have green, black, magenta, chartreuse actually, instead of just plain green. Here's the other side of the box. And we've got like a graveyard scene here. And ta-da, this is Zombino. This is the online exclusive version. It's a little different from the common version available in the blind box. And I really wanted to get this one because I like this color combination. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box and let's take a look. The common version is all green and I wasn't really crazy about that one, so I got this one instead. All right, let's take a look. Wow. So Zombino is a really nice matte black that features some skeleton bone designs and it's supposed to be a zombie and he's wearing what looks like a tombstone necklace on a chain and we've got more skeleton or bone designs so I'm I'm thinking this will probably be glow in the dark and then we've got a couple of tombstones on the back and then look it, there's the top of his head is open and there's a teeny tiny little version of Milo, the one that I mentioned earlier. And there's a headstone along with some flowers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think we can actually close this. Whoa, does it stay closed? How cool is that? And then, Can we reopen it? Oh no, did I mess it up? Well, I'm going to leave it closed for now because I don't want to break it. That is so cool, I totally love it. I'm so excited that I got that. What do you think? I think Zombino is going to look really cute with Trixie. They look amazing together, don't you think? And before I sign off, I wanted to show you, I did get some of After Dark Series 3. I found a small lot of them available on Mercari. I don't know how this person had them available to them before they were available on the Tokidoki website, but they appear to be legitimate and authentic. So I have a few, I have five that I'm going to show you. So the first one is called Spelina, and Spelina is our witch-themed unicorno. And again, I love how this is very Halloween, but at the same time, not Halloween colors. So we've got a red witch hat, which looks like it's based on or inspired by mushrooms, and baby blue unicorno with a cat design around the eyes, an eyeball candy, and a little crescent moon necklace with more kawaii candy. And then this green trim around the hat is actually a snake. And then there's a spider along with a book of spells on her back. So the reason why I decided to buy this small lot was because I really liked all of them and I wanted to make sure that I got all of the ones that I wanted. And I kind of have to be a little more strategic of how I spend my money for the rest of the year because I still would like to get, hopefully, Tokidoki um, Unicorno Series 11 and then 
the advent calendar that's going to be available this year sounds really interesting. So with all that in mind, I decided this would be a better way to spend my money. What do you think of this one? I really like Spelina and I really like her name too. I think she's really cute. So I'm going to remove these two and I'm going to replace her. And next we have a really interesting one. This one is called Nurse Noir and she's a scary nurse. She's got blood spatters. She's got a twisted hypodermic needle sticking out of her horn or instead of a horn. She's wearing a mask with teeth coming out. She's got blood dripping on her and then she's got a bottle of poison on her back. Scary. And next we have Stitches. And Stitches is really scary looking. This is our scarecrow themed unicorn. -o. There's not very many scary looking unicorns, but this is definitely one. I think it's the eyes that give it the scariness. There's a jack-o-lantern with straw for a mane with a skull, sunflower, and an owl. I like it. And I like how they've got some different types of creatures. They, I think they really went out of, were thinking out of the box with these Halloween ideas. So next we have an alien or a space themed unicorn. And I love the color combination. This one is called Spacey. We have a green body with dark blue translucent glitter filled mane and upper body and then you can see inside there's a little teddy bear floating in space and then on top we have our ufo with a little alien inside <laughs> i think that's so awesome i love it all right i'm going to take down luna and i'm going to replace with spacey I think Spelina and Spacey look really cute together. And last but not least, La Pièce de la Résistance. I probably screwed that up, but my most favorite from this collection, and the last one I'm going to show you, is this one. This is Dante. How awesome is this one? So if I'm not mistaken, I think Dante is inspired by Dante's Inferno, which is written by Dante Alighieri. It's a collection of stories based on heaven, hell, and purgatory. So Inferno is based on hell. And so it's a devil themed unicorn. -o. I love the translucent flame mane. There's a little skull inside the head. Can you see it? And then we have some spiked bracelets around the hooves. And then there's a jack-o'-lantern design on the body, which is silver and translucent orangey red flames. And then on top, we've got a cute little devil who's roasting a hot dog. She's so cute, right? But I want to show you, I think I love how she's pretty much, or this unicorno is the opposite of this mermicorno. So this mermicorno, Twilight, the common version from mermicorno series seven, got cool colors, mermicorno, it's a nighttime blue, and then we have an angel unicorn horns and while we have our little devil here with her devil horns I love how they're kind they complement each other because they're opposites at least to me anyway what do you think are you planning to get any of these 
So there's two other unicornos in the After Dark series. One is called Treatster and the other one is called Shockwave. Treatster is a jack-o'-lantern themed unicorno and Shockwave has the Frankenstein monster on it. I think I'd like to get those two, but I'm not totally sure. I'm really happy with the ones that I have. What do you think? Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy Halloween and thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Have a great day. Bye.